Do you want to get married? पूछ रहे हो क्या पूछू क्या I'm not the one you need to impress. I can be quite impressive. from a Pakistani perspective. The movie hits theaters today, and joining us now is the director of the film, Fazia Mirza, and leading actor, Hamza Haq. Welcome. <laughs> now, Fazia, you say this movie was inspired by a personal struggle. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so when I first started coming out as queer, you know, I'm queer, I'm Muslim, and when I started coming out as queer, I wasn't sure if I could be those things at once. Mm -hmm. Could I be queer and Muslim and still love Bollywood romance all at the same time? So um, I began to make art as a way to make sense of it all. And so I realized, yes, I can. Um, and all of my work really is a representation of me becoming more comfortable with my identities. Oh, I love that. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> Incredible. And Hamza, you took on the role of playing the dad, Hassan. Yeah. So what was the best part about playing him? Um, it was, one, I just got to do cosplay of my father for, <laughs> you know, for a month and a half, and that was great. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, was, it, it was great, but also, you know, and the story is just, you know, our, like, my parents grew up with a certain set of rules in a certain society where they understood certain things, and you know, that is completely different from that of their children. Yeah. And I have to understand, like, I had a daughter myself, and I have to understand that she's gonna grow up with an understanding of the world that I can't relate to. But to be able to play a character who, regardless of whether he agrees or understra understands, is always gonna try to be there for his daughter, regardless mm -hmm. of what happens in the movie, I'm not gonna do this <laughs> But who's always gonna have an approach that he's always gonna be there for his kid, regardless of where he is, I thought it was important for me to practice that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that is the kind of, yeah. I love that it's modeling for anyone who sees the movie. Like, this is the kind of parent yeah. you should be or aspire to without giving anything away. But, Fazia, <laughs> you incorporated classic Bollywood elements into this movie, like the music. Mm. I mean, I think, uh, you know, the most iconic thing about bo Bollywood movies and what we think of is the storyline, boy meets girl, a girl falls in love. How did you challenge Hollywood yeah. and Bollywood conventions while also paying tribute to the Bollywood culture? Well, I feel like Bollywood is sort of inherently homoerotic in a lot of it ways. Is. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Been I mean, like yeah, I mean it's sort of, yeah. <laughs> okay, I love this. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, but but there is that sort of like embracing of uh, the masculinity and the femininity I, all at once, okay. which is really beautiful. And so the iconic sort of you know movies and songs that I grew up listening to and watching had these beautiful grand romances. And I I thought, oh, if I'm queer. I can't have that, but I realized that, well, maybe I just need to reimagine that yes. in a film. And Bollywood really, by form, like, is also really queer. Like, it's not just one thing. It is a musical. It's uh, right. a thriller. It's a drama. It's a, it's a you know, a pageant. Right. Yeah. Doesn't it's... get any gayer than that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so it's like the, I know there's room for me in this, but somehow um, we've we've lost that. And so reimagining what these uh, songs could be like through this film was was really essential for me. Yes. Um, and and who's to say what role we play, you know, in terms of gender? What role we play? You know, are we wearing the pants? Are we wearing the sari? Mm -hmm. Like TBD, you know? Right. Oh my agree. goodness. Yeah. Hamza, uh, you have Pakistani heritage. So what was it like filming the movie there, especially like scenes that are supposed to be taking place in the 60s? Well, uh, like I said, it was just, like I still have family there. Like we were we were filming just down the street from where my aunt lives and oh, has lived her whole life, where my dad grew up. Oh my um, God. I used to, like I grew up in Saudi Arabia. We used to visit Karachi all the time and I hadn't been back in 16 years. And to go back as, uh, I know, thanks for, thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> yes. But no, but to, go, but to go back not as just like my father's son, but to go back with my own identity, to go back as an artist, right. to collaborate and contribute to the zeitgeist of a burgeoning cultural scene in Pakistani film. Uh, I think that's just, it was just, uh, it was a very beautiful full circle moment. Yeah, yeah. I should say so. That's magical. Yeah. Love that. I love that. And now, Fazia, we need to uh, highlight the fact that 
you made history five years ago when you wrote an episode of CBS's The Red Line, the first queer Muslim romance on network TV. So now talk to us about the significance of that. Well, you know, since I've been an artist and making short films and, and, and you know, all the work that I've made, it, I've been centering queer Muslim brown POVs um, and uh, getting hired for that show, I think really was connected yeah. to my identities because there was this central romance with the protagonist, with the queer Muslim Pakistani guy. Um, and, uh, you know, who better to write the perspective of a queer Pakistani guy than this guy? <laughs> <laughs> So, and, and it, you know, it's like I bring my POV to all the work I do, right. but that was a really beautiful moment. And, you know, CBS has not traditionally been a very right. uh, progressive yeah. network. And so this was a really progressive moment. Right. And, you know, we're sort of trying to change the world and have impact uh, little bits at a time yeah. is what we can do. So it, was, it was magical. Baby gay shoes step. Yeah. Baby, gay, baby gay shoes, <laughs> baby you know? Baby gay shoes, yeah, that no, was great. <laughs> So speaking of trailblazing roles, Hamza, this year your hit CTV show Transplant came to an end after four incredible seasons. Mm -hmm. And you were one of the few Muslim actors to lead a primetime series. What impact did that have on you? Uh, it's opened a lot of doors and it's made it, uh, I'm very grateful for, for Transplant, the fact that it ran. I'm mm. very grateful for everybody who took the opportunity and the chance and the time to watch it. But I've also been made glaringly, it, it, you know, it's been made glaringly obvious that it is one of the few shows with mm. a Pakistani Muslim character or just a Muslim character on primetime TV. So maybe a little bit more of that. Yeah. That'd be great. That, that's been the effect. <laughs> I want to see more. I want to do more. I want, I want my brothers and sisters to have more opportunities. And uh, hopefully, you know, if we have this conversation again, I'll be one of many. Okay, yeah. let's, do it. let's do it again. Do that. Yeah, I like love us. that. Well, now, thank you both. Thank and you. you can catch Queen of My Dreams in theaters and Hot Candidates today. We'll be right back. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.